Drama in the Kitchen, brought to you by Tasty Tom. It's always a great time when I'm on your TV screens with Drama in the Kitchen. My name is AJ Akwako Sapa. It's an absolute pleasure to be bringing you another exciting edition this festive season. Of course, the show is proudly brought to you by Tasty Tom Enriched Tomato Mix. All you need for this festive season is just a little fakakra nyapibre for all your stews, your soups, and of course, all your rice dishes, everything you need. Always think of Tasty Tom and Rich Tomato Mix. And of course, a very thank you to Sunlight Dishwashing Liquid that always ensures that every stain is gone with just one wipe. Also, a big thank you to Ladies in Collection for making me look absolutely fabulous this entire festive season. Of course, you can find them on Ladies in Collection on social media and as well. First choice for my hair. It takes a village, guys. It takes a village. And speaking of a village, today we have a very exciting um, guest who has brought in um, his people to be able to see how well they can cook when it comes down to knowing his taste buds. We'll be getting into all of that very shortly. Welcome to Drama in the Kitchen. And you're tuned in to Drama in the Kitchen right here on TV3. My name is AJ Akwako Sapon, and this show is the one that gets to see people pitted against in each other, but in a very unconventional way. So picture this, an ex cooking with a current, and the one they are cooking for is the one that they formerly and currently are dating. That's exactly the scenario that we're going to be seeing panning out in the studios and in the kitchens today. We have our incredible guest, Matthew, who's bringing his ex-girlfriend and the current girlfriend, hoping to find out who really owns his taste buds. Let's meet Matthew. Hi, everyone. My name is Matthew Esman. I'm a musician and I'm also an actor. And I'm 23 years old. I'm here with my girlfriend and my ex-girlfriend. And my expectation after this is for my girlfriend to prove that she can cook better because she's competing with my ex-girlfriend. And ladies and gentlemen, let's meet Matthew. Show, 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 show. Hey, okay. Okay. <laughs> Hi, Matthew. How are you? You look really nice. Thank like, I'm, I'm digging the entire look. Thank you. Okay, so you're bringing your ex and your current girlfriend. Yes, please. You're sure you can stand the heat? Yes. All right, okay, but tell me about them. Who, who's your ex and who's your current? Okay, Rahina is my current girlfriend. Okay. And then Portia is my ex-girlfriend. Ooh, how long ago did you break up with Portia? Okay, um, Portia actually broke up with me um, two years ago. Two years ago? Yeah. Oh, she broke up with you? She broke up with uh -huh. me. Uh -huh. Yeah. All right, and, and, and then how long have you been dating uh, Rahina? It's just a year now. It's been a year? Yeah, okay. it's been a year now. Okay, have, have the two of them ever met? Um, no, but they, <laughs> I think they spoke on the phone before. Oh, they have? Oh! Hey, Matthew, you have them speaking on the phone together. Explain that. How did that happen? Um, actually, they, uh, I'm an artist. Okay. I'm a musician. Okay. So the Porsche was complaining that I wasn't giving at the time. You know, upcoming artists, I need to be on the studio of and all course, that. Yeah. Course. She was saying that I wasn't given the time. So, you know. And, and so you decided to get them talking. No. Okay. The thing is, um, uh -huh. when I met um, uh, uh, Rahina. Rahina yeah. <laughs> It's funny. Uh -huh. <laughs> when I met her, she was actually okay with what I was doing. Mm -hmm. She was okay. Right. So I think we were in a room. It was a daytime. We were in a room mm -hmm. with. Uh, I was in a room with um, um, Portia. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that my, my ex, Portia. Hold on. This is why you were dating Rahina. No. Okay. <laughs> uh, got me scared for a second. So okay. So this is why you were dating Portia. Mm -hmm. Yeah. This is why I'm dating. Um, um, Rahina now. Okay. She's cool. She's okay with what I was doing. Okay. So the reason why I said um, they talked on the phone uh -huh. was um, I think I was in a room with my ex-girlfriend, that's Portia. Right. And she saw me texting these girls, laughing and all that. And when I dropped my phone, she called the person and then 
you know. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. So you were chat yeah, tell you chatting to Regina. Yeah. Before you broke up with Portia. Yes. She broke up with me because she was So wait, she broke up with you because she thought you were with Regina. Which she was right because she ended up dating Regina. No, we were just friends. Then, and then yeah, we were just but friends. But friends enough that she was suspicious. Um yeah. Something like that. I like where this is going. Alrighty, let's meet Portia, his ex. Hi, I'm Portia and I'm Mati's ex-girlfriend. I'm here with Matthew and his current girlfriend and drama in the kitchen. And at the end of the show, I want to win his taste back. Ladies and gentlemen, now let's meet Portia. It's a pleasure to meet you, please. Come towards the side. Okay, so I was having a conversation with Matthew. Quite interesting. Your name came up a few times. Um, you spoke on the phone with his current girlfriend, Rahina. You suspected the two of them being together. Yeah. And that's what led you to break up with him. Sure. How do you feel knowing that your suspicions were right? <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't even know what to say. Like did, he, did, he denied everything. He did. He to did. your face. Yes. And you said, uh uh, I know I know what my intuition is saying. Yes. And then and you I walked know away. Too, so. Mm, mm, mm. so that made you walk away. Yes. Do you regret walking away? No. Ah. Huh. Are you excited to meet her? Yes, I'm very excited. <laughs> <laughs> well, they've spoken on the phone and she may have caused the breakup, but now Let's meet her. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Rahina. Hi, my name is Rahina. I'm 23 years of age. I'm Matthew's current girlfriend. I'm also a makeup artist. And I'm here to get my, Matthew's taste with his ex-girlfriend. So stay tuned and watch out for me and my cooking. Now, ladies and gentlemen, let us meet Rahina. Hi, Rahina. How are you doing? Okay, now, Rahina, welcome. Please Thank meet you. Portia. Hi. Portia, please meet <laughs> Rahina. Hi. Uh, Rahina, mm -hmm. I, I was told you were having conversations with Matthew mm -hmm. before he had officially left Portia. Okay. Did you know this? Did you know he was in a relationship when you were talking well, to him? Well, I didn't really know he was in a relationship. Mm. But we were not actually in a relationship but you were talking like we're vibing you were vibing ah, so so how did that vibing turn into well the That's reason why i actually started dating was because she pissed me off oh snap I mean, how can you call me and tell me that she stay away from your boyfriend was that the one that called her please you, so you, you can't knew. tell me that so that call was what motivated you exactly to... mm -hmm. <laughs> <Okay>. exactly <laughs> There's going to be a very uh, interesting cooking session. At this point, Matthew, you place yourself in the middle, but you, you can't even. <laughs> <laughs> so you can go relax while me and the ladies get into what will be a very fantastic cooking session. So now, ladies, in front of you, you have a mystery basket. Please open it. In this mystery basket, we have identical ingredients where our ladies will both create a meal out of it. So we have some vegetables, we see some chicken, we see some tasty tom, tomato mix, some rice. So we can say maybe chicken soup and rice. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's do chicken light soup and okay. rice. So at this point, I shall give you both your Thank aprons. You. And once you officially put it on, it means we are ready to rumble. Of course, this show is proudly sponsored by Tasty Tom Enriched Tomato Mix. And they're going to be creating what will be a very delicious meal out of their exact ingredients on both sides that they've been given. And then hopefully, one of them will show truly who owns the taste buds when it comes down to Matthew. Um, ladies, are we ready? We are? Yes. Okay, so at this point, I'm going to give you 30 minutes on the clock to create a delicious meal 
using your own ingredients and and <laughs> fame and your own techniques to create the same chicken light soup. Now the big question is, whose fingertips are going to be the ones that will declare them the winner? We shall find out very shortly. I will leave you ladies to start the cooking process and I'll come through and try and understand a little bit of this beef. <laughs> the genesis of this um, drama and then see how well both of you also know Matthew. So at this point ladies, 30 minutes on the clock, let's start cooking. Hey. Hey, 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 hey. Hey. Your machine is making noise. Hmm. Blend new Say my machine is making noise. Me na me me na me Okay, quite a lot of conversation going on. How's it going so far, ladies? Portia? Yeah. How's it going? It's, it's interesting. It's, it's interesting. <laughs> How's it going for you, Raina? She's trying to disturb my peace she's of mind. She's trying. Ah, but she's not, she, she can't I am trying. I, I'm telling you, my mm, sister, mm, she can mm, never, mm, never mm. in your life. Yeah. But let, let, me, let me try to get you to know you a little better, mm -hmm. Regina. Um, so what, what do you do? Well, actually, I'm a makeup artist. Okay, all right. And I'm also a cook. Hey! So you can imagine. Hey, you can okay. imagine. Uh -huh. uh, yeah. No small so, pressure. I, I did tell you, my sister. <laughs> but, but how did you and uh, Matthew meet? Well, I went to one concert. I didn't even want to go. You didn't mm. want to go. My but you were forced. Like, you see, my friends were like, oh, you should go. You don't like going mm. now. Mm. Like, okay, then let's go. Eh. So okay. I went for the concert. Mm -hmm. And then I met Matthew. I really liked this performance. To okay. be I really enjoyed it. So it was, it was a voice for you? Well, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so when we are done, with, when he was done with the performance, I was there and I, some, one guy he came to call me that, oh, I think I'll be at the corner, he's calling me. I was like, hey, which no guy is that? Hey. Mm -hmm. They were right, like, hey. right. <laughs> so I went, uh, hey. Now I'm trying to run a crap power. He was a fresh oh, mm -hmm. okay, okay, fine guy. Okay, okay, okay. So he actually took my number. Aha. And then he didn't really tell me he liked me at first. He just, at that point, it was just a normal vibe, you know? So friendship. At, at what point did you realize that this person you were vibing with also had a girlfriend? Well, the thing was, one day, one fine afternoon, mm. I was seated at my place, so je, je, je. Okay. Eh? And I, I received their call. Mm. You see? It was from Matthew's number, actually. Okay. So, so you picked up? I picked up. I was like, oh, Charlie, my French boy is calling me, so let me pick it. But at this point I in time, at this point now, when, when you won't cry, you, you, mm. were, you were feeling the boy. I mean, he's more. a fine boy. Uh -huh. Like, can you blame me? Okay, okay. So, um, I picked the call. Mm -hmm. I thought it was actually Matthew, so okay. I heard a, a lady's voice like, hey, now we're so free. <laughs> so she was like, eh, you boyfriend snatcher. Hey. You want to snatch my boyfriend? I was like, ah, madam, are you okay? Like, is everything okay? Because, hey, how can you just tell me that I've snatched your boyfriend? Like, do you know me? Do I know you? No, we don't know each other. So what are you talking about? Mm -hmm. She was like, eh. So I saw your number on my phone. You guys were texting. And I said, did you see I love you there? When you saw the text, did you see I love you? Mm. Now I hate you. Eh, and no, and yeah, and yeah, I was like, Madam, yeah, why are you poker? I'm not gonna make me any better now. So, yeah, so, so now, was yeah. at that point you yeah. decided that exactly. I will take exactly. this man, <laughs> huh? Well, how can you tell me that story? So, that was a trigger for you. Mm -hmm. So, had she not done that, would you have pursued him as a boyfriend? Well, I mean, he's a nice guy, as I said. So, Charlie, why you, not? You could have. Uh -huh. But mm -hmm. the fact that he had a girl didn't didn't sway you. No, not at all. 
it, fact, even, it, it gave, even gave, gave me more morale, you understand? Mm. Yeah. Sister. It gave me more morale to actually be with him and mm. Kasa and Kasa. Mm. Mm. Uh, so mm. that was what happened. Mm. 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 Okay, all so, right. Yeah. Well, let me come over to Portia's side and, and get to know, you, you've been hearing what, for lack of a better word, your <laughs> rival or former rival has to say. She's not my rival. She's not your rival. She can never she be. She can never be. I like that. I like that. Now, let's try and, how did you meet Matthew? Matthew. Uh, I don't really remember. You don't? Okay. So it, don't, it's, it's been quite a while. Yeah. Well, okay. Okay. Really hey, can't you mind really the remember. Ah. So you you randomly met somehow and then you started having yeah. getting having conversations and decided that this guy is actually really nice. Do you remember your first date by any chance? Yeah, I do. Okay, <laughs> tell me about that. Oh memories, like I don't want to talk about hey. it. <laughs> it was that good. <laughs> yeah, it was. Like very good. Okay. Um and then you saw him texting Rahina. Yeah. Then you now proceeded to call her. And hindsight, do you think that that was the right thing to do, calling her? Actually, it wasn't the right thing, but mm. I asked him and he denied. He denied it. He was like, the girl was always testing him and all that. Oh, so rather he said that you were, you were texting him. How do you, how do you feel hearing that? So, so wait, so do you believe her? Oh. Like, if it were me? to be me. If it were be me, I would also say the same thing. So, ah. you cry, don't even care. Oh, Charlie, so you can't be bothered saying, about that. She's just saying what she wants to say. Okay, okay. So, so he, he was telling you that she was the one that was throwing her yeah. at him. And was always texting him. And he gave me the go ahead to call him. To oh, verify. really? Yes. So it wasn't that you picked up the phone no. on your own accord? He, he even dialed gave... the number for me to just talk to her, to verify everything. Okay, that's an interesting twist to it. Me, I don't believe it. Though, you so. don't believe yeah. it. You don't I, think that. I can never are... believe it. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. Well, we'll, we'll probably get to the bottom of that part. Sure. Um. So then you called her. She now says she doesn't know what you're talking about. And then she, at what she, point? Like she started insulting me. Oh, she did. Hey, she did. sister. You like can't she's lie, actually. Yo. Hey, no wonder he you left you, my no, sister. You didn't insult her. He didn't leave me. Oh, I didn't please. say anything. No. She, I just put the corner. Hey. Hey. Like, hey. Also, like, she started insulting you. I'm telling you. I said that. No, look at me. I said that. Now you, you don't, you don't kind of crack. So you, 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 so you, you I'm not even bothered. Like she insulted you. Madam, she insulted me okay. first. But you maintain that she insulted you. She insulted me first. Okay. We can ask Matthew. Okay, so we'll, we'll get yeah. to the bottom of that with Matthew as well. Mm. Now, at that point in time, when did you decide that you wanted to break up with Matthew? Is it after that call? No, I've been thinking about it. For a he while. doesn't have time, and mm. every time I'm going to the studio, mm. I felt he was lying. Okay, so you started to have a problem with yes. his schedule and how his music was sort of affecting your relationship. Yes, okay. and I was actually thinking about it for a while before you decided. So that. when she came in, and I was like, okay, let me just walk leave. out. Okay, so did you break up immediately after the call? Yeah, like, no, not that very day. But okay, but a few days later. Yes. And then you now told me that you don't want to be with him again. Have you, have you dated, uh, have you moved on since then? Are you dating now? No, I'm not. Why not? I just want to give my son some time. You want to give yourself some, some time? Some time, yeah. Okay. So that means you haven't really moved on from him? Not really. Ha is it that the, the hurt <laughs> or the betrayal you haven't moved on or the man you haven't moved on? The betrayal. Okay. I didn't expect that. From, um, from someone who from you him. were with? Okay. Yes. And you're dated, how long? Are, you're dated for about two years or more? How long are you dated for? It was for almost four years. And you were together almost four years? Yes. Almost. Wow. Wow. Okay. And then um, he's now been with her for a year. Mm -hmm. So... You, you basically saw it happen before it did. Did you at any point reach out to him that I told you, like, why, did, why couldn't you just be honest with me? Have you spoken? Did you speak to him again after the breakup? No, he actually calls me every time. Oh, he talks to you? To try and watch, get, to get Like, he's together. always denying her. Always, like, always. Hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> he's calling you and always denying her. Yeah. Like, always. That they are not together, they are not really much of an item. Now she's forcing his, herself at him. Oh, and wow. All that. 
Even till date? She will keep deceiving yourself, my dear. Mm. Okay. She should keep deceiving herself. Now, how, how do you feel like hearing that? Do you think that's, that's Me, a, a... I don't feel anything, no. Because I know she's lying. I mean... So you, 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 you trust that he will never say that? Never. He would never. Okay. He okay. will even try it. Simple. Okay. I also want us to... Try to get an idea. To try and understand... Um, who really knows Matthew the most? So we're going to be doing an interesting game of who knows Matthew the most and asking identical questions to both um, Rahina and as well to Portia and allowing them answer. The one who's able to answer the most questions on who really knows Matthew, this particular person will be getting an opportunity to go to her partner or should I say her rival station and then take one thing from there that could hinder their cooking. Right? So Rahina, you can be able to go over to Porsche's. Porsche, you can be able to go over to Rahina and you will take one thing they need during this cooking process away from them. So that is how well you know, uh, that is if you can prove how well you know Matthew. But all of that will be coming up right after this. Don't go anywhere. This is a drama in the kitchen. Proudly brought to you by Tasty Tom and Rich Tomato Mix and Sunlight Dish Washing Liquid. Don't go anywhere. Tune in and to Drama in the Kitchen right here on TV3. My name is AJ Aquafo Tapo. Now, we are getting into uh, the, the good part here while our ladies go on the cooking spree, churning out what would be a delicious meal of rice and uh, light or chicken light soup. That is the meal that they found or the ingredients they found in their uh, mystery baskets and that's what they're creating right here on the show now I'm trying to get into a bit of a conversation with them very shortly and most importantly i like to get to know them or how well they know matthew so matthew is a common denominator on the show today he is uh, portia's ex and rahina's current boyfriend he's brought both of them to see who really when it comes down to throwing down in the kitchen is the ultimate chef and the one who can say proudly that she owns his taste buds. We are getting into a bit of that surely, like the, the food is fast on its way to being done. And most importantly, I want to know from them how well they know Matthew. So ladies, if you're ready, like I am, are you ready to find out who really knows Matthew? Because you get an opportunity to go to your opponent's side and pick one thing from there. One thing that possibly crippled them in a the cooking process. Does that work? Sure. Okay. Really? Really? Question number one. What is Matthew's favorite hobby? What is Matthew's favorite hobby? Writing lyrics. Writing lyrics. Okay. Um, Rahina, what do you think is Matthew's favorite hobby? Writing music. Okay. okay. Well, my favorite hobby is singing. He did say singing, so I think I'll give it both to you. What does he prefer? Coffee or tea, Rahina? He prefers coffee. Coffee. Um, what do you think he prefers? <laughs> tea. Tea. Okay, well. I prefer tea. Rahina, you lost on that one. He said tea. He prefers tea. What is Matthew's love language? What is Matthew's love language, Portia? He's cringy. He's very cringy. Yeah. Okay, all right. Uh, what yeah, is he's very, very cringy. Okay, so he said... My love language is quiet time. Quality time. I don't know if I should give it quality. Okay, we'll give it to you. We'll give it to you. Who is his best friend? Who is Matthew's best friend, Portia? Mm -hmm. Please speak up just a bit for me. Who, who is Matthew's best friend 
in the whole world. The whole world. In the whole world. Who is Matthew's best friend? His mom. Okay, you say his mom. Uh, Rahina, who is Matthew's best friend? His mom. Also. His mom. My best friend is my mom. Well, both of you had it right. Um, if he could wear one color for the rest of his life, what color would he pick? Pink or oh, white. Okay, all right. <laughs> Rahina, what color would Matthew pick? Pink. If I would choose any color at all, I would choose pink. Pink. Okay, real men wear pink. And it's true. Matthew said pink. We have to love it. Now, what is Matthew's favorite song? Matthew's favorite song. For now, I, I don't know. You don't know. Rahina? So you see, if I say you don't like his passion. Hey! His <laughs> only song only is if you know it. Love in the Kitchen, actually. My favorite music is Yeah Baby by Nick Pink. Well, definitely not that one. Okay. He picked Yeah Baby by Nick Pink. Okay. Yeah Baby by Nick Pink. Um, are you Yeah by... Are you Yeah? Yes, right. Oh, you are? You are Yeah? <laughs> yeah. I'm oh. a Thursday born. Oh, you're yes, Thursday born. Mm -hmm. Portia, are you a Thursday born? No. Um, she can never be. I'll push okay. her I don't want to be. She can mm. never be my <laughs> sister. Mm. Well, yeah, baby by or babe by Nicole Pink is his favorite song. What is his favorite movie? Rahina. Since you know him so well. Hey. Well, I can't tell because I like scary movies. Okay, and he does. So I don't you know, we, we watch it together. Okay. So he, he has not really shown much interest. You so. haven't bothered to ask your boyfriend what his favorite movie is? Well, he actually watched it with me, so okay. I don't know. I don't okay. really know. Portia, what is Matthew's favorite, favorite movie? movie. Um, Can you guess? No. My favorite movie is um, Bollywood. The title of the movie is RRR. Okay, well, he said it's a Bollywood movie titled RRR. That is his favorite movie. Now, at this particular point in time, because both of you didn't get favorite movie or favorite song, but you both got his color, his best friend, and his love language, the one who has the one point more is Portia. <laughs> so Portia, you have the unique opportunity to go towards this side of things and pick one thing that she, you think she would need that's <laughs> and it's an almost picture what she's going for. <laughs> one thing. Just one. Yes, it could be a utensil. Okay. It could be a food item. It could be a spice. One thing. Okay. <laughs> hey, she could almost predict that that would be it. <laughs> The sweet I wish Rahina just used a salt. I, I know already. That that would be where uh, Portia will be going. So congrats, Portia. You have been able to cripple maybe Rahina's cooking process by taking away her salt. Now we're soon going to be getting uh, very close to the wrapping up side of things where it's just going to be uh, getting ourselves ready to now plate our meals and then go on to enjoy. Well, Matthew at least will be enjoying. Well, we're going to go for a quick break when we come back. We'll be getting into even more excitement right here on Drama in the Kitchen. to drama in the kitchen right here on tv3 it's been a very fiery cooking session in the studios here because between Portia and rahina they have been chopping it up 
with a lot of words to go with it. Now, the big question is, whose meal is going to impress Matthew the most? We'll be finding out very, very shortly because we're going to invite him to do the tasting. But I need to ask you, ladies, how has the cooking process been, Kosha? It's amazing. It was good. Okay, okay. All right. Um, how would you feel if Matthew doesn't pick your meal? <laughs> Mm, I'm I'm lost of weight. Yeah. <laughs> How would you feel if he does pick your meal? Happy. Aha, we like that, we like that. But Rahina, mm -hmm. how would you feel if after putting your back and your your all your accoutrements into cooking this meal, Matthew doesn't pick it? Well, I wouldn't feel bad because you she get which she get which is. <laughs> So I wouldn't be surprised. Don't be surprised. Not at all. Uh huh. Not but all. Well, how would you feel if he does pick you? Oh, I wouldn't be surprised either because hey, you know why. Okay, okay. So you wouldn't be surprised either way. Yes. All right. Well, let's find out how well you, that is you at home, will be surprised. Let's get the gentleman, Matthew. Wonderful. And I'm going to move the ladies all to one side. And then I'm going to bring the meals you'll be tasting closer to you. Mm. So Matthew, you're going to be picking two or oh, tasting two meals. And you select which one, in your opinion, is the best one. Yes? You will give me a number between 1 and 10, okay. representing said meal. Okay. Then you will tell me the ratings you're giving from uh, 1 to 10 and why you're giving me this, this rating. Okay. Does that work? Yep. Okay, so I will start with meal number 1. Okay. So this is, I'll call you, I'll call you, I'll call this meal number one. Okay. And then you will now taste this meal and you will give me a rating at the end of tasting both meals. So I'll do you the honors of being the one to feed you really okay. your meal. So I'll get some chicken in. Mm. So please open up. It's a big bite. <laughs> mm. Okay. That is bite number one. I'm going to give you another bite and then I'll give you some water to cleanse your palate. That there. So I shall give you some water to cleanse your palate. Mm -hmm. And then you will now give me and I'll, I'll now spoon the second meal for you to eat. Okay, so would you want a second bite? Yep, I'm okay. okay. You, you're okay, you don't want a second bite? No, bring it. Oh, okay, cool, good. So this will be your second bite. Uh, again, don't forget the number you are giving it in your head. So here comes your second bite. It's also gonna be a big one, sorry. <laughs> Let me dab your mouth there. Okay. What? Yep. Okay. So I'm going to get into your second soup. To would you want some water to cleanse your palate? No. <laughs> Okay, if you think you don't need it, then perfect. So we're going into our second soup and get some protein on there. And I'm going to give you a mouthful of this second meal. So this is second meal? Yes. Okay. All right. So here you go. Mm. 
Terima hmm. kasih. <laughs> Okay, so enjoy the flavors. And then I'm going to ask you to give me a number. A number between 1 to 10 to represent both meals. So the first one you judge. Give me a number between 1 to 10. 10 being the best, 1 being the worst. Then the second meal, give me from uh, 1 to 10. 10 being the best, 1 being the worst. What will you rate meal number 1? Okay. Eight. Eight for me, why? Yeah, um, I like it peppery, like, okay. yeah, but okay. it was a bit down. Okay. That was meal number one? Yeah, that's meal okay. number one. Okay. That's all. So it wasn't very peppery for you? It wasn't peppery enough for you? No. Okay, so what about meal number two? I'll give it ten. It's perfect. It's perfect. Yeah. Okay, so meal number two... <laughs> It's absolutely perfect for you. It's the right amount of pepper, I'm sure. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Um, now I'm going to remove your blindfold and I would want you to now take a look at which meal on the table you think belongs to either meal number one or meal number two. Okay. Yeah? Yeah. Okay, so you can either take it off or I can help you take it off. All right, let me okay. help you. All right, there we go. So which meal do you think is meal number one? And which meal do you think is meal number two? Okay, so... <laughs> this is meal number one. Okay. And this is meal number two. Okay. Who do you think cooked meal number one? And who do you think cooked meal number two? That you've given 10 over 10. Meal number two for my ex-girlfriend. Your ex-girlfriend? Yes. And meal number one for your girlfriend. Yes. Why will you give your girlfriend, why will you, why will you be happy to give your girl, ex-girlfriend higher amount? I didn't know it was her. So you, 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 you're positive it might be her. Okay, let's find out. <laughs> okay, if you are the owner of meal number two, please step forward. And you are right. Your ex-girlfriend is meal number two. And you have literally given her high marks, higher than your own girlfriend. How are you feeling right now? Yeah, hot, eh? You'll be hotter. <laughs> you know, you know R men don't live by bread and milk. Men don't. Oh, right. <laughs> Regina, so you're, you're, you're okay with it? Yeah, I mean. How, how do you feel, Portia? I'm happy. You're I'm happy. really excited. Uh -huh. Now, now I, I need to ask a few questions <laughs> because quite a few things came up while you were, were chilling in the corner, including the fact that you um, still reach out to Portia. You're still begging her for a chance to come back. You, not only that, are also still denying your relationship with Rahina whenever she speaks to you. What part of this is true and what part of it may be false? Well, for Portia, we do text, but not like begging her to come back. You're not like that. So that nah. means that you are begging her, but you're not really begging her. No, no, no. Her. I'm not begging her to come. You are back. not begging her <laughs> not at, at all. all. No, no. So you proper broken up hey, with her. Hey, hey, hey. She broke up with me, so. Are you over, Portia? You know, memories sometimes I miss her. I said it. Memories said he's sometimes you not miss her. her. Yeah. But how do you feel here? Because he just admitted oh, it's, that it's he missed normal. Her. I mean, he had a lot with her. So... It will be it will be normal too. It's wow. normal, Charlie. So. <laughs> So it's normal to miss your ex-girlfriend. It's not normal to miss your ex-girlfriend. That's mean, what he just But he misses me. Baby, look at me. Hey. That's what he just So did. are you trying to tell me that I'm not like... You can he never says, be. He says he, says he misses her. I won't so talk wait. too much. Do you, Okay. If Portia actually decided today that she wants to take back leaving you, would you consider her? Would you run back to her? Um... That's a very long pause. Yeah. With your girlfriend standing right here, you, that's a very long pause. No. You took, 
no, no, no. Ten minutes to go to that no. The answer is no. No, he because has to I think have about remind it. you about. So. No, no, no. I, I almost reminded you about the girl from before you decided on no. No, the answer is no. Okay, let me start again. If Portia decided today <laughs> that she wants you back. No, no, no. So why? What's your problem? My problem. She's is you. willing to take you back. What will be your answer? No. <laughs> The mouth says one thing, but the body says something completely different. Regina, yes. Do you still feel secure in this relationship? Hundred percent. Even with him missing his Oh, a hundred percent. You know, it's memories. You can't just get over someone mm. you like. Mm. You started something, which you understand. Okay. So it's, it's it's a gradual process. You understand. But it's been it's been one year. Don't worry. Two. Okay. Two. Are you what? Ah. It's what is two? It's one year God. for your relationship. Wait, are you, are you the one who hey. like? Because oh, technically you guys are texting before you even broke up. Yes. So if we are we're texting the moment, as we friends, text. you understand? Ah. But you like So me. after... Who is asking you question? You like him. Who is asking you? Answer, you like who him. Who is asking you? Didn't you like him? Answer, please don't ask that <laughs> one, I beg you. Oh. So let's just... Mm -hmm. So you still feel secure in it? Very, 100%. I mean, okay. even though he... Clearly has admitted to missing, missing his head. Mm, as I said, they started from the scratch, so it's normal he misses it. Okay. You understand? You know, I'm now going to teach him the better way. Right. You understand? Right, yeah, so, you're not able to teach him. Excuse me, who yeah, is talking to, to you? Teach him. Mm -hmm. Excuse me. Now, Abby. Yeah. How do you feel, Portia? I'm calm. You're calm. Mm -hmm. You're lying. You know, how do you feel now knowing that? Well, his demeanor says one thing, but he, he's saying no, but his demeanor is saying something else completely. If you had an opportunity to take him back or consider taking him back, would you do so? He said no, so no. <laughs> oh, that's you so bad. <laughs> <Did> you know. <laughs> he, Hi, he literally paused before saying that no. Mm. So if the pause was long, I can than, explain the pause. Explain the pause. I'm, I'm still the same guy. The but, same. The same musician uh -huh. who goes to the studio almost every day mm. and she doesn't like it that way so if she was to change and accept you as you are as a musician <laughs> the question is just getting tougher for me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, wow. she true. won't change because it's been if so long. she could change and i don't know i don't know if i am inquiring she, she won't change Portia, if you would you ever be willing to take him as he is maybe what is maybe? It's a yes or no. Just please, say no please, and go for it. Please. Maybe. Mm -hmm. And on that maybe note, we'll leave it there. <laughs> but yeah, how, how can people stream your music? Because clearly, the music needs to. The, the, the music is causing a lot of drama in the relationship <laughs> aspect of things. So how can people reach out and stream so your music? So on all streaming platform, the name is Nickel Pink. Nickel Pink. Pink. Yes. So stream the music, Nickel Pink. And then help him so because once the music is on all the number one platforms, then he can figure out the relationship drama aspect. Yes. <laughs> well, a big thank you to you for cooking. And here, our way of saying thank you, Portia. Here you go. Thank you. This is your beautiful hamper from Tasty Tom and Rich Tomato Mix. We're gonna wrap it up with a, at least a drink between all of us to officially cheers our way out of 2023 and usher in good tidings in 2024. We will be hoping that more incredible content comes your way from us, TV3, in 2024. And we will continue to ensure that in all things, we put you our incredible listener and viewer first. So wishing us all great tidings, more money, wealth and prosperity, peace and happiness, and even more goodness from us all at Drama in the Kitchen. My name is AJ Akpako Sapon. A very big thank you to our incredible sponsors, Tasty Tom and Rich Tomato Mix. And of course, a very big thank you to Sunlight Dish Washing Liquid. All you need for one wipe to ensure that all your stains go away. And finally, a big thank you to Ladies in Collective for making me look absolutely dazzling. Find them on social media at Ladies in Collective. And of course, first choice for my lovely pair. Fix the village. And from us, here at Drama in the Kitchen. <laughs>
popping <laughs> our way into a brand new year. Happy New Year! <laughs> so let's cheers. Let's all cheers. Wonderful. Let's all cheers to a great new year. Possible friendships and a whole lot of good tidings in our brand new years. So, cheers to 2024. <laughs> cheers! <laughs> Alrighty. Keep watching TV3. Right. You may sad for no reason. Don't you know, say this be our season. Did the brain make a fall? Right? You dreaming. Mmm, I'm better now, yeah. Yeah. You make sad for no reason. Don't you know? Say this be our season. Be the brain make a fall. Hey, you dreaming? Mmm, none care better now, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Who soon I need you? Chance through me, who soon so cruel and bare me. Don't you know? Say God in control. Yeah, yeah, yeah. None care better now, yeah. Medassi. Where the party there today?